Hey everyone, this is Sarah. Some of you may have noticed my older videos are gone, but don't worry, I'm in the process of remaking them and they're going to be better than ever. I've decided to start over with a general intro to biology, which is what this lecture is going, or excuse me, what this video is going to be about. For those of you who haven't seen biology before, you might not understand everything that I'm going to talk about now, but I promise I'm going to explain everything in my later videos, so just stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to tell you what biology is, why it's important, and I'm going to give you a couple of examples of different branches of biological study. Biology is basically the study of life. It's the study of nature. Things that have lived in the past, things that are living now. Flowers, dinosaurs, as you can see here, fish, animals, anything you can think of that's alive, that's what biology is the study of. Um, biology dates back to the start of mankind millions of years ago. People have always been curious about what's around them. They want to understand the animals that are around them, the plants that are around them, and how these animals and plants act and how these animals and plants could benefit mankind. But the systematic study began in Greece about 2,500 years ago. There are many, many, many different branches of biology, many different things you can study. This is just a really, really short list. We start off with botany, which is the study of plants, zoology, the study of animals, anatomy is the study of observable body structure. You've got bones, teeth, and leaves, petals, stems, anything like that, plants, animals, anything you can see and observe. Physiology is the study of the functions of body structures and systems. What do bones do? What do teeth do? What do leaves do? How to how do they serve what purpose do they serve? There's embryology, which is the study of embryo development in plants and animals. Genetics is the study of inheritance and variance in organisms. For example, some people have blue eyes, but some people have green eyes. Ecology is the study of environmental relationship between plants and animals, animals and animals, plants and plants, the study of how organisms interact with each other within the environment. And we also have taxonomy, which is naming and classification of organisms. Modern biology is based on several theories. Um, I'm going to talk about the four big ones that I know of. We start off with cell theory, and it is the notion that all cells come from pre-existing cells and organisms are composed of one or more cells and the cell is defined as the basic unit of life I know this might not make sense to everyone but like I said I will explain everything in a lot more detail in later lectures the second theory is the theory of evolution by what's called natural selection this just means only the strong survive only the strong um, reproduce and pass their genetic information on to future generations. The third theory is called the gene theory. Um, it involves what is called the central dogma, which is DNA to RNA to proteins. Um, information contained in the DNA, it, gene, which are called genes, these genes are copied from DNA and transformed into something that's called RNA, and then eventually RNA is read to form proteins, which are the building blocks of our cells and everything else. The last theory is the theory of theory of homeostasis. This is the maintenance of the conditions under which the organism can function. This includes temperature, pH, ion balance. Like I said, I know you might not understand all of that if this is your first time, but I will explain it soon. Now I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, why is biology important? Why do I need to know all this stuff? Well, there are many, many, many reasons why, why it's important. For example, agriculture. People have been using biology thousands of years to figure out how to make plants and animals that will produce more food drug development. A lot of our antibiotics and pharmaceutical uh, molecules, drugs, all of that come from plants, come from other microorganisms, um, bacteria, fungi, things like that. 
infectious diseases are also called by caused by microorganisms and without the study of biology without studying these things we would have no idea how to cure them or how to kill them or how they cause the infections that they cause but in the end all of this is related to human and animal health and basically how to improve the lives of humans and their surroundings but that's all I have for my introduction I hope you enjoyed it in my next video I will be covering the theory of evolution and naming systems and classification <laughs>